You know, the difference between guys like me, or us, I should say, and anybody who's paid to select college players in the NFL draft is we can sit here and say, oh, I was right about Jordan Davis. But if I, you know, I mean... But when the it, money's on the line. <laughs> right, when the money's on the line, <laughs> yeah. man, you better not be wrong. Look, Jordan Davis, 341 pounds of six, man. 6'6". Six. Six, six. Ran a four eight forty, just a wrecking ball. Technically four seven nine. Four seven nine. Look at him, just an absolute wrecking and ball. And they are off now. Keep Whoop. this he in mind moving. as well. That how tall is he? Six six. Mel Kiper six, six. did not have Jordan Davis in his last mock draft in the first round. Keep that in mind. He will be next time. Well, he absolutely will be next time. It's just how high could this big fella go? I said back in January that if I'm the Lions, I have to take a hard look at Jordan Davis at number two just because he's as close to Indomitian Sue as there has been in a draft, in my opinion, an interior defensive yeah. lineman that I've seen in a long time. But you see this stat here coming up. Jordan Davis was only on the field for 44 of 246 snaps Georgia played on third down. He is a flat-out two-down player, first and second down. If you take a player at number two, well, I mean, I don't think it will take you need more two. out of him. You gotta, ha- you gotta be a three-down player, do you not? And conversely, conversely, how do you determine? Okay, so he played two downs in college. Why couldn't he play three downs in the NFL? Like, he's going to get better, is he not? I think he was gassed. All right. No, 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 no. So, I'm glad this came up, and this is an interesting topic. Go back and look at Georgia's schedule last year. Go back and look at their games. Go back and look at their results. He didn't play a lot of those third downs. They beat the shit. Oh, excuse me. They beat the hell out of everybody last year. So, literally, a lot of those halfway through thirds to the fourth quarter – He's not in. A lot of those, they it's don't fair need him. Point. Meanwhile, Trayvon Walker literally was just as good in terms of stat-wise and what he did on the right side. Why didn't we think of that, Ryan? Like, literally. It's a great point. So, to that point, like, that number can fool you. It, it, it's yeah. a tricky number. It is. So, I get it. You know, you're 44, 246. But let's just say those numbers speak. Let's, let's say they're. Let's say they're they're factual as it relates to the whole season and all games were tight. If he's only playing two downs, if he's a monster on those two downs, that means one, stuff. That means one, sack or pressure or whatever, make it harder. Third down is long, whatever. If that's what you're giving me on two downs, I take it. So in terms of drafting him at number two, that's a tough sell. But in terms of him, in terms of moving up, maybe 15, maybe 12, maybe 13, if you're going to give me two monstrous downs, I'm here for it. This is the draft you want to be the Philadelphia Eagles. Sue ain't playing every down. Sue didn't play every down. This is the absolute draft you want three players in the top 24. Boy, they're going to be tough to beat. I mean. They're going to be tough to beat in the NFC. Yeah, what what is it? 16, 16, 17, and 18. Or 15, 17, and 18. Yeah, something like that. Back to back to back. Thank you, Colts. I mean, seriously, don't you. uh, Like, I I wish the Lions had at least two. I'd rather have seven and 10 or. 15 and 18 in this draft. But we have what we have. Two. We have what we have. I, I understand this is the easiest thing to say. I get it. Right. And I hate to say it. You got to trade the pick. Find a partner. Find a draft partner to get one extra pick high up in this draft. Let me ask you a silly question. There's a lot of help these guys can get. When you're playing fantasy football, it's, just, it's draft day, right? you got 12 teams in the league. I've never played, by the way. Well, you should. It's fun. Never played. Anyway, the guy that gets the first pick, that's the last pick I want. It is. Or the last pick. That's the last pick I want. And what did the Lions have? Next to the first and the last. They got like the snake draft. A, yeah. <laughs> they got to wait and see all this right. talent come off the board. And then they get to pick two out of the next three picks at the end. By then, man, there's so many all pros that have passed you by. All right. So, I, I definitely, I agree with you on that, though. It's a very tough situation, drafting two and then 32. But with that being said, yo, Brad Holmes, go on your, go on your damn check. 
Oh, he's got it. Like, no, no, no. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, I, let's stop giving them excuses. Like, literally, we're sitting here talking about what we believe in Brad Holmes. We believe in this new regime. We've given him, mm -hmm. we've given him some some leeway. We're like, you know what? I trust him. I trust the draft process. So if we're gonna say we trust him. Then shoot, doesn't matter if you draft two or one or five or six or seven. Go do your job. And this is we keep talking about this draft. Like there's some good talent, but more so better talent as mid second round down. So nobody wants to come up. Yeah. If you think about it, like who wants to come up? Look at like, the Jets and Giants. They like, pick. They have four picks in the top ten it, between them. And it's like, why am I coming up? This is an average draft. Who am I coming up to get? Here's with, a question with the for exception you. of ninety-seven for Michigan. Who am I coming up to get? Is it better for the Lions? You know, obviously, if you get Hutchinson, that's great. I think he'd be the pick at number two if he's there. But is that pick more tradable? And I haven't really thought this through, and I'm just saying it out loud now. Is that pick more tradable if the Jags pick Hutchinson and a team falls in love with one of those two offensive linemen or something like that, they want to trade up to get one of them? Or if they, if the Jags take an offensive lineman and a team gets desperate and wants that other one? You know, because there's two... Yeah. Offensive line. I don't think anyone's Neil trading up for an old line. Nobody's trading up for no. an offensive lineman. I'm just I'm grasping at straws here because I'm you. trying to trade the pick. Especially the Detroit Lions have literally like yeah. one of the meanest like old lines in the league. Like yeah. not so you know that that's the one position they're not taking. Exactly. I would be. I mean, I would not be shocked if they took Malik Willis at number two. Oh my I, god! I'd, what I'm saying is, I'd fall off the chair if they took Evan Neal number two. I'd yes. fall off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right? I mean, those although. Are the, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I think you, Sam Reynolds could be quarterback <laughs> behind that line. Freaking Sam. flannel Sam can could even, be. It. Can you even imagine? I mean, I mean wow. Holy crap. Have, have you seen that, that kid? You can't. He, looks, he looks skinny, and he's 360 pounds. Yeah. You can't have all that money tied up in that position. It's just unbelievable. Yourself. And you have a backup center, quote, right. unquote. Evan that Brown, trade him. the third best him. center in the league. Yeah. That's a good one. We need to trade him and see what we can do for that, man. It's, it's, let's just start over again. It's tough. This is, this is a tough draft. You're going to get some good players. It's, it's a shame that a lot are going to be gone by the time you pick again at 32. But I really believe that Brad Holmes is going to be able to move mm -hmm. and get who he wants. I agree with you because if you're very quiet, he's also like, what did we talk about last week, last Thursday, last Wednesday? We talked about the Detroit Lions leaving the draft early, mm -hmm. or excuse me, leaving the combine yep. early. Yep. They didn't stay. They knew what they were doing. I said they're working. Like, they know what they're doing, free agency, working around, moving, talking to other teams. Hey, let's draft, you know, trade for the draft capital. They're working. They're doing their thing, man. It's going to be interesting, man. That number two pick is – this is a very – Interesting year. And, and not only that, but it just, to, you know, if, if you can accumulate more picks, we always say it, it it's it's something you've got to do. And if you can't, you take the best player on the board available, Mass. Heartbreak Kid on YouTube uh, took the words out of my mouth. You guys know I follow New York football giants. Yep. I read a lot about them. They love Thibodeau. They love him. And they got two number ones. They just might be your dance partner. Very well could be. You're and not going to get two number ones, but you can get their number one and possibly some other pick. That would them. be incredible. Hey, yep. speaking of YouTube, Maz, if you are watching on YouTube right now, hit that like button for Smash. us. Smash that like button. Uh, that helps YouTube get our content out to uh, more people, more places. Also, we are less than 100 subscribers away from 21,000 <laughs> subscribers moving, on YouTube. So we are taking this train and we're going uphill. You've reached into the video. You know what you should do? Press like. You know you like the content that we have here at Wilbur Sports Network. I'm Braylon Networks from the bottom line. Subscribe to us right now.